Yesterday, I posted about a new stealth model dropping, and today it's been officially released called Sonic. Sonic is a brand new model designed specifically for coding, and the best part is, it's completely free to use in apps like Klein, Cursor, Rule Code, and a few others. The model is insanely fast and surprisingly solid. Some are even saying that this could be the new Grok 4 coder. Currently, it's being tested in the wild, much like GBT5 was with the Horizon Alpha series. From what we have uncovered, it's basically confirmed that this Sonic model is from Grok, since within the fig files, the function call name was listed as XCI. Not only does it have reasoning built in, but it's also coming with a 256k context window, which is pretty decent for real world coding use cases. Now I will say this isn't the best model, but in terms of its speed as well as what it's capable of outputting is pretty decent. In this case, the Sonic model was able to output 3100 lines of HTML code in a single shot and it wasn't just filter code. It included a video showcasing a full web page, which has a lot of different components, different games listed within it, and it was able to do it blazingly fast. A dev on Twitter named Echo Hive had just stated that it had asked to create a, a clone of Minecraft, but to write 10,000 lines of code to do it, and it was working on it, and it was able to create a step-by-step to-do list as to how it can actually create this. And it was actually able to output the clone with proper terrain generations as well as blocks and it was able to do it rapidly fast because this model is a blazing fast output model but just like sonic helps you generate code blazingly fast vectal is something that will help you work faster vectal is an ai agent that does your tasks for you for example i can give it a project name and i can give it a description like helping me set up a node.js rest api now I can generate a system prompt to be optimized for this task. I have the ability to use state-of-the-art models directly within Vectal. Now I can select the project backend and now Vectal has context to work on this task. Now I can use the Vectal agent to help me execute the process of setting up a Node.js REST API by having it break it down into five subtasks. And just like that, it has created five subtasks and it has even listed them all out. Now I can accept it all and I can visualize the task list that Vectal's agent has created. Essentially, Vectal has made it super easy by breaking it down into these five subtasks, making my work easier. Now what's also nice is that Vectal has an idea box. This is a place that will allow you to easily brainstorm more ideas and I can simply generate more ideas which will then be displayed and I can use these different ideas to help me tackle my overall task. Also, whenever you use web search, the chat agent will actually use its built-in perplexity pro capabilities. There's even MCPs that you can leverage for extra tools. So if you want to try Vectal, use the link in the description below and get unlimited GBT5 and 30 days of Vectal Pro free with the code world. All cutting edge AI models and features included. Huge thanks to Vectal for sponsoring today's video. But with that thought, let's dive right back into today's upload. So now let's get started and I'll showcase how you can set this up with Klein as well as root code. Now, just to note, this is something that will be taken down after 72 hours because this is something that is just being tested out within these apps so it's recommended that you get the most out of this free access within these next few days now to use this you can either use whatever id you have like cursor or something like vs code obviously you can use it directly within cursor but say if you want to use it with vs code with apps like klein or with root code then open up vs code which you can install completely for free and then you can head over to the extension store and this is where you can find the client extension or root code and you can either install whatever one that you want to use i prefer to use client but you can also use root code so simply go ahead and install it and then once you have opened up something like root code you can connect to the root code cloud and this is where you can access the sonic model but if you're going to be using client you can head over to the settings and then you can select the api provider as client sign up with the client account completely for free and then search up the sonic model which you can select over here and then you can start generating anything within this panel but now that we have it set up let's test it out create me an ai SaaS landing page and this is usually a test i send out to every sort of model to get a good grasp as to what it's capable of generating for its front end and ux designing and you can see right away it is using its reasoning capabilities to work on generating 
this SAS landing page. Right away, it is going to create the actual file. And then we can run the command and then have it generate everything. And you can see that code generation is blazing fast. It's able to write this many lines of code within a few seconds. And within a couple of seconds, I'm going to go ahead and open this up within my browser. And there we go. We have our basic SAS landing page. And I will tell you, it doesn't look as great as like what other models are capable of generating. Even the open source models do a better job with this. But I guess the rough structure of this SAS landing page looks pretty decent. And it's a great way for you to easily start building with this rough structure. Next up, we wanted to test it out on the SVG generation. This is where we're going to ask it to generate a butterfly with SVG code. And we're trying to see if it's going to be able to have the symmetry that a real typical butterfly has with different vibrant colors, as well as just basic symmetry on both sides. So let me see what it actually ends up generating for us. So I'm in an online SVG viewer. I'm going to go ahead and paste in this code. And there we go. We have a pretty good looking butterfly that was generated with symmetry and a lot of different color contrasts. So in this case, it did a pretty good job with this generation. So it's pretty good to see that it's capable of doing this. Next up, we're going to ask it to create a Minecraft clone. And I want to see if I'm able to replicate that same sort of design we saw previously within that demo. And right away, you can see it is rapidly generating the code. And in that case, you saw that it created approximately 90 plus lines of code within like a matter of like two to like five seconds. And right now you can see it's just rapidly generating all the components. So overall, the selling point of this Sonic model is its speed, hence why it's called Sonic. And you can see that this could be a really great addition to our suite of LMs if it's capable of having it some sort of reputable performance along with its blazing fast speed. So I've opened up the index HTML file and I have this generation of a Minecraft clone. I can click escape. It's lagging a lot, but it did generate the core components of the game where you can move around and you can also place blocks. But right now it looks like it is really, really laggy. So I can't really do much, but you can see I can place down different types of blocks. I'm trying to change the color of it. And I look, looks like I just opened up something else, but shoot i can't go back in for some reason I'm having some sort of trouble here but there we go now we can place down different block colors so overall it did generate a minecraft clone i can't really move around and it's pretty laggy here it was requested to make a 3d star animated simulation it's really fast in doing this and it took a lot of these different tests that we had sent in quite quickly and it was able to get a really good output from it. It thinks a lot, which is nice because it has the inbuilt reasoning, but probably means it's spoken heavy because it's a reasoning model and it could be an expensive model once it is released. But overall, we did face approximately zero errors so far with all the generations we have ran, which is pretty impressive. And there we go. This is the interactive 3D star simulation that it was able to generate quite rapidly. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. Overall, the stealth model is pretty impressive and it's something that I highly recommend that you try out because it's going to be gone within 72 hours. So it's best to make the most out of it. It's built for coding. There are a lot of pros to it, but it's not at the same performance as other models, but it's still pretty decent. So I definitely recommend that you try it out with the links in the description below. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel. Join the newsletter, join the Patreon, join us and follow us on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.